So I'm back again with the top 5 free Android apps for December 2018. In this monthly series, you'll find all sorts of unique apps that you can use on a daily basis to perform the day-to-day -day tasks with more efficiency. If you haven't checked out the top 5 Android apps list for the previous month, then I'll be leaving the link to that video down in the description box. So hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Texture1504, my name is Utsav and without wasting any further time, let's start our video. So the first app on today's list is InShorts. This is a very nice app which helps you to stay updated with the latest news from all over the world without spending a lot of time on reading articles. What's unique about this app is that it gives you a brief description of the news in under 60 words covering all the important aspects in it so that you don't need to read the full article in order to understand the news. Now if you are interested in the news and want to read the full article, you just need to swipe left and it'll provide you with that. And swiping right will give you several categories of news to choose from ranging from technology to movies so that you can specifically get the news from topics that you want it from. Now links to all these applications mentioned in this video will be down in the description box so make sure to check them out once you have finished watching this video. The second app in today's list is Dynamic Rotation. I'm sure you must have faced issues when you turn on auto rotation in your device because sometimes even when you don't want the screen to rotate, the device automatically rotates it because that's what it's supposed to do. And due to this reason most of the people turn off the auto rotation feature. But Dynamic Rotation is the solution to that problem. What it does it, it gives you the control of when you want the screen to rotate. Every time the orientation of the phone changes, a logo pops up on the screen which you can touch to rotate the screen or leave to let the screen be as it is. You can tweak the settings from the app to change the size or shape of the pop-up or change the duration of time for which the logo will be on the screen. It's a useful little app which helps you to use the auto rotation feature in the best way possible. Next app on today's list is called Anybooks. Now this could be a very useful app for you if you like to read a lot of books or ebooks. This is a great app to find your favorite books without spending a penny. It's got almost all the books that you'd like to read as the collection that it provides is just huge. Name a book and you'll find it here absolutely for free. You can explore books from various categories such as horror, mystery, fantasy, crime and more or you can simply search the book from the top by author's name or the name of the book. You can just download a book and read it offline. And once you download the book, you'll find it on the home page so that you can access them anytime even when you're offline. Today's fourth app is called Photomath. What this app does is that if you place the camera inside this app on a math problem, it solves it. It even gives you the complete step-by-step -step solution to the problem along with a graph if possible so that you get to understand the solution without any difficulties. The range of problems that Photomath can solve is pretty huge but don't expect it to solve complex university problems but it could be the best thing if you're a student studying in 12th standard or less. This app is continuously updated so that it can solve different types of mathematics problems and I've personally seen its capabilities increase more and more with each update. So the last app on today's list is Notin. Now this is basically a reminder app but its take on reminding the thing is pretty unique. Unlike other apps, rather than notifying you with an alarm at a particular time, what it does is that it first asks you to write whatever you want the reminder for and then leaves the notification of that reminder on the notification bar. And that notification will not move from there unless you manually do it, hence making sure that you don't forget the things that matter to you. You can even use this app to temporarily write a thing such as a phone number or any name which you might not want to save for later. This is a very small but unique app which does a simple task in a different yet efficient manner. So this was it for today guys. If you like this video then leave the like button turned on and share this video with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any latest updates. So I'll see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.
Thank you.